Because now, relatively speaking, we've got a lot of humidity out there, even though it's very low, so we can't drop down that much. But then it's one of those where did the kids put the name in jacket? So because you won't need a jacket later on this afternoon. So it's like heavy coat this morning and then take it off and T-shirts and kind of wardrobe confusion. Sort of like that. Anyway, uh, we got a lot of clear skies out there this morning, and I looked, uh, walked outside, looked straight up, and there was the moon. It is just a few days, because of course it was full on the 5th, so it is now the, the waning uh, gibbous moon, but yeah, it was still very pretty out there. Lots of clear skies. Freezing right now. Burning Stage, Bandera, 31s, Kerrville, Comfort, 38 out there at the airport, and notice how these dew point temperatures, that's the measure of moisture in the atmosphere, are neck and neck with these number, with the air temperatures so you can't drop down below what these numbers are so we're kind of running close to that and we've got a slight breeze out there which is helping although there is some fog forming up down here along the coastal plain so we will have to keep an eye out for just a patch or two of fog around the area this morning mold is on the moderate side mountain cedar is low from yesterday's count and this morning yeah grab a heavy coat because temperatures will stay steady again maybe drop another couple of degrees here and there a patch or two of fog not much most of it down along the uh, the coast plain. Then later on today, in a lot of cases, we are going to be doubling the temperature. We are going to gain a good 30, 35 degrees across the board all the way up to 70 later on today. Plenty of sunshine. That will be the last time we see 70 for a while because we've got another pretty good front moving through here later on tonight. What's that mean for temperatures this weekend? Details coming up in just a couple of minutes. Alyssa, Mark.